Amazon Web Services has finally launched their RTX 4080, 4090 equivalent GPUs for all-purpose usage. They also launched the less powerful but more affordable NVIDIA L4 as well. AirGPU has applied them on their service, so we're going to see just how well they perform with several benchmarks. We'll also talk about how this might affect Amazon's own cloud gaming service, Luna. Let's get started. So first, a breakdown of the hardware being used on the L40S tier. I'm going with the 16 CPU configuration, which is the biggest available. This will cost you around $5 an hour. Damn! Yeah, don't shoot the messenger. Now I'm gonna run 3D Mark for the full benchmark. If you're unaware, the NVIDIA L40S is the same card they use on the GeForce Now Ultimate tier. AWS is also using third generation AMD Epic processors. Now the overall 3D Mark score was great. The GPU score was much higher than the CPU score, which means the CPU was lacking in this instance. Now let's run the benchmark for the L4. This is a way more balanced tier. The CPU and GPU scores were just about even, in the mid-9000s. This score was also very close to the Shadow Power Upgrade. Now back to the L40S, because that's what we came for, right? Let's run some benchmarks for some games. First, I ran Cyberpunk with the 4K Ultra Ray Tracing preset with frame generation on and got very similar to what GeForce Now would have gotten. I also ran Black Myth Wukong with pretty stellar results at 4K with the default settings. Surprisingly enough, things pretty much tied the GeForce Now Ultimate tier on max settings. This is the first configuration I've seen to do that. Now for the last benchmark, I ran Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Ultra Settings at 4K. Things run pretty good here. Now I chose Valhalla because this is a game that is currently on Amazon Luna. Since AWS has made these upgrades, the question now is whether we'll be seeing 4K gameplay on Amazon Luna sometime soon. You can see how similar it is to the GeForce Now Ultimate tier. This could be the push the platform needs to launch 4K on the service. Now here's another question. Would you use Amazon Luna more if 4K gameplay like the GeForce Now Ultimate tier was possible? To me, this all depends on the games. Honestly, at this point with the game catalog, I don't think it would be worth it. Sure, Fortnite at 4K would be great. Playing games from the Ubisoft Plus catalog would be amazing as well. But I believe they're going to need to launch the heavy hitters from the GOG lineup to really get good use of 4K. Remember they promised Cyberpunk 2077 from the GOG catalog when they announced the GOG games earlier in the year? So maybe this is what they were waiting for. With Microsoft launching their own play your own games in the cloud, this would be a great time for them to counter Xbox and show them that they mean business. I would also see a tier change and price increase for 4K streaming if they're launching it soon. As you can see, running this tier is expensive. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And if you like this benchmark and overview of the new NVIDIA L40S and L4 tiers of AWS, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon and our Discord in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe and keep it locked right here at the only place we can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.